Good morning. This is Evangelist Robert L. McKim, Sr. I wanted to update you all on, uh, well, you know, I went to the Loaves and Fishes food pantry yesterday to get uh, our uh, monthly uh, food that they give out. Some months they give out less, some months they give out more, some, and some months they give out different things than other months. It, it varies. It's never the same, but it is always the same when it comes to canned food. But when it comes to certain other foods, box foods, chips, cookies, fruits and vegetables, meats, dairy, it varies. Like, for instance, yesterday, we got, well, here's a bag here for stuff I haven't put away yet. I got um, uh, <clears throat> these uh, marshmallows, gingerbread flavored marshmallows. Got uh, Oreo cookies. I got two boxes of these uh, uh, graham crackers. Two boxes of those. Another box of uh, stuffing. I uh, got uh, ramen noodles. Uh, these uh, chips. They may have had one bag already. These uh, sun uh, snack chips. And let's see, I also got uh, a box of uh, cookie mix. Naked bars that Renee likes to snack on. And uh, we got the, I got six of these, but we are eight. Two of them. And of course, the canned foods. Today we got uh, chicken, spread, and tuna. I got uh, tomato sauce and chicken noodle soup and chili, which I have a can of chili right there that I got last month. And Renee, she likes chili. Fruit, kidney beans, no, I mean navy beans, excuse me. Green bean, some more green beans and carrots and and uh, that's another soup. Pear, another can of pears, peas, beef ravioli. And that's all when it comes to the canned food. Now, someone had mentioned, well, you got all this canned food over here. That's going to waste. Well, like I said, I got this last month. This we had bought a while back. This I got. This I got. They also gave out uh, basically a lot of this stuff here too. The rav this kind of ravioli. See, it, it, it's never the same, but that ravioli tastes different than the other ravioli I showed you. And then when it comes to these soups, forget about it. I do not like them. Renee doesn't like them. They have a funky taste. And I'm sure, uh, I'm, well, I'm sure that anybody in their right mind would not want somebody to eat something that doesn't taste right when you dump those out into the um, pan to cook them, it's just like flop right now. I mean, it's like flop right out of the can, and then it's like oily and greasy. Campbell's is better. 
And there's another off-brand, generic brand that's just, to me, like Campbell's that I also try to get, which comes from, um, I think, Aldi's. Sometimes the ministry gets those cans, sometimes they don't. It varies. And then a lot of this stuff in here, raisins, for instance, uh, a lot of the macaroni and cheese, uh, a lot of these here, um, tuna helpers and uh, hamburger helpers we get from the ministry, the mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes, popcorn. We get a lot of crackers. Uh, we got popcorn. This tea was from my dad. And a few other things in there is from my dad, but uh, long story short, there's a lot of stuff that, yeah, we got from the ministry and stuff that we bought. The uh, beef broth down there, uh, not beef broth, excuse me, vegetable broth we uh, got from the ministry. Majority of that we bought down there. We got mustard also from the ministry that we uh, have uh, when we need it. So yeah, we, and then all these crackers we got from the ministry. I got these from the ministry, which I'm going to try to give to my grandkids when I see them. These, uh, cra these uh, bars. All those, uh, um, the popcorn right there. Got this from the ministry. Uh, a lot of pancake mix and uh, and uh, big bars of uh, uh, Rice crispy treats. And uh, of course, a lot of peanut butter and uh, all these, a lot of these cans we've got from the ministry. And the reason why we got them is because, uh, well, we only we don't eat peas and carrots and peas and carrots and peas and carrots and green beans and peas and carrots and green beans, peas and carrots and green beans, peas and carrots and green beans, peas and pear. <sighs> like somebody out there expects me to just open up a can of green beans, open up a can of carrots, open up a can of. Uh, peas and just eat those for a meal a meal is meat vegetables and fruit that's a meal not just opening up a can of something and oh that's a meal not for my body not for what I need also yesterday we got uh, I got, uh, I was able to get a steak, so yeah, we got a steak. Nice steak there. And a uh, round, top round steak, which we usually get uh, a flank steak when we go to the butcher. I also got these turnovers. And got that uh, pie there. All these, uh, we get also from the ministry. There's different kinds we get from the ministry. You know, one month we might get one kind, another month we'll get another brand, another month we'll get another brand. But basically that's what they give out at the ministry and the butter. But see, this is the kind of butter I usually try to get and use right here. Because it's healthier. I try to get more healthy food to eat. But how is it that I'm supposed to lose weight and keep my cholesterol down, keep my high blood pressure down, and keep my sugar in check when there's people that really expect me just to eat whatever and die because they don't really care. They say they love me. But how is it that they say they love me. But yet they don't 
really care that I have the right kind of food that I need for my body, for my nourishment, to keep my numbers in check. My hub, I mean, come on now. Got another uh, thing of uh, sour cream. And we also got, we fixed, I ain't showing you, but we fixed uh, some uh, sausage. Uh, <coughs> Yeah. I also got this pie, mincemeat pie. And then, of course, they always give us not a dozen of eggs. Nope. 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 Not a dozen of eggs. For two people, you only get a half a dozen of eggs. For a larger family, you get more. And then, of course, uh, got grapefruit and apples and carrots yesterday as well. And I also got uh, some more potatoes I put in with uh, these potatoes, those big, big, humongous potatoes. Got those. Got sweet potatoes, which we eat sweet potatoes. And uh, got some more onions, the big onions. The red onions we got last month. We don't eat onions every single day. And we don't eat uh, potatoes every single day. Because for one thing, white potatoes isn't good for me. Makes my sugar go high. Now if that's what you want... I'll eat all the white potatoes and, and I'll just end up in the hospital and die because that's what you want. No, the problem is, here is the thing. I want to stress to you. Oh yeah, wait, before I continue on, before I do this. I also want to show you too. The turkey that I got in my deep freezer. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Also, I got this pizza yesterday. Got this, another box of uh, waffles. That box of waffles I got last month. Got the bread uh, yesterday. This other bread in here we've uh, bought and also some of it we got from the ministry. And right there is also the uh, turkey I was talking about. Big, uh, nice turkey that uh, a church gave us for Thanksgiving. But we had already bought a small turkey that we had fixed. So we fixed a small turkey for Thanksgiving, I had a big chicken for Christmas, and then we got that turkey there for whenever we need it. So, we do not um, just haphazardly, you know, fix our meals just because we're hungry. Renee, hon, can I try to wake up. We don't haphazardly just fix our meals. We fix our meals, one, based on how we're feeling. Like right now, we're having uh, these colds, so we've been eating... Uh, I made some homemade chicken noodle soup that we've been uh, eating. Plus, we had the uh, sausage links... Um, that we had yesterday as well and uh, I took a potato and cut it up made homemade french fries I don't buy bag french fries because I'm watching out for all those now see this is a thing there's a person out there that has celiac disease and they should know what they should shouldn't eat but yet they're trying to tell me that a diabetic what I should shouldn't eat, but yet I showed you people the list of food 
that my do my my uh, doctors have given me, and on top of that, a minister or evangelist, preacher, whatever he was, health and fitness instructor that has a gym in another state. Now, wouldn't you think somebody that's into health and fitness would know what a human person is supposed to eat? The thing is, there are there, there's somebody out there that no matter how much proof I show on my videos to back me up, back up what I'm doing, back up what I'm believing, including God's Word, they are always tearing me down, but yet their wife says we believe in Jesus Christ. We're good people. We're Christians. We're good people. We're good people. We're good people. But does being a good person make you a Christian? No. It's what's right in here that makes you a Christian. In your heart that makes you a Christian. In your heart and your mind. The problem is, this person... had been on a talk show years ago. His ex-wife took him on a talk show. Why? For one thing, he was controlling her. He was controlling the finances of the home. He refused to buy new underwear. He had holy underwear and showed his holy underwear on the TV talk show. But... His ex-wife even talked about where he made her take everything she bought back to the base store to make sure that she wasn't overcharged. All because he heard that uh, the base store was overcharging people. That is control. He is a control freak. He wants to try to control me. Somebody that lives 400 miles away from him and control his, well, he really doesn't claim her, but at times, but could try to control his uh, stepdaughter. And he made a statement on one of my YouTube videos. You guys can check it out. that he only gets along with his wife's family who are Baptists just because he's married to his wife. He, in other, he doesn't agree with their beliefs. But he gets along with them just because he's married to her. That tells me there is something serious or wrong with this man. He's calling, always calling me names, calling Paul Begley names, calling Jim Baker names. Anybody that claims to be a God-fearing, Jesus-believing Christian should not cut anybody down or call anybody names. This man is not a Christian. Period. He is an antichrist. He is an evil spirit. There is an evil spirit embedded in his body. And Paul said, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. But spirits and parents, yeah. principalities, rulers, of what? For one thing, evil and darkness that are entering into people's minds and hearts and, and, and controlling them and controlling their thinking and going around saying, look at me, I'm a good person, I, could, I do good stuff. I'm supposed to be, I, I'm a Christian, but yet I'm tearing other Christians down because they don't believe the same thing I believe in. 
Is that really a Christian? No, it's not. I want you to listen to uh, um, um, a show here that I taped. Well, you might uh, know this guy. Okay, I need to stop there because my battery's about ready to die on me. Get back here to... Oh, there we go. Long story short. I'm not a professional beggar. I'm not out there standing on the corner begging for money. I'm not a drunkard. I don't smoke. I don't drink alcohol I don't spend my money on any of those uh, things I pay my bills and just because I have a satellite I'm I'm a bad person because I I don't live in a big city close to the shopping malls like they think I should be I live 30 miles away from the Walmart, 30 miles away from my doctor and the hospital. Just because I live 30 miles away from uh, what they consider civilization. That I'm doing wrong. Think about it, people. Who is really doing wrong? By telling me what to do, when to do it, and how to do it like I'm in his military. And you know what? I know he'll be coming down again on me. That's, a, that's what he does. That's what he does. He wants to come, always come down hard on people who do not agree with him. 
But yet he says he gets along with his wife's family who are Baptists just to get along. But yet he doesn't get along with me because I'm preaching the truth. The whole truth.